What is up you guys? It is Avery here and it has been quite a while since I have uploaded uh, a video to my channel. Uh, just to kind of give you guys, I guess, a life update of what's been going on. No, I am not swapping uh, my content on this channel, but I am at the point now where I kind of just want to upload videos of whatever content I choose, whether that be Yu-Gi-Oh related, gaming related, or uh, you know, news related, anything of the sort. Just because of the fact that you know I kind of just do YouTube for fun on the side. Um, I even am trying to work with another YouTuber and I told her straight up that, you know, I don't really YouTube much anymore. So it's not like I'm trying to get subs off of you. However, I do want to give her a shout out because she is an up and coming YouTuber. Uh, her name is Aaron S E R I N space S. Uh, I believe she's the first result that pops up for Spyro videos. Really enjoy her content. They're short, sweet, to the point, and discuss uh, the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. And so I figured I would throw my hat into the ring talking about the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Now, I don't have any gameplay. I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do anything like that other than record my voice over a screen and just sort of give my thoughts. So if you're playing video games or something and you're just sort of listening to this video, just go ahead and play it in the background. You don't have to look at the screen and just sort of take it easy, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Aaron, also, if you happen to be listening to this video, be sure to hit me up uh, so that we can work on that video together. Would really enjoy it. So I figure that ever, since everybody's been talking about the really the reignited trilogy, if I could speak today, I wanted to do something a bit different that I actually haven't seen any of the other Spyro tubers do, which is talk about uh, my background and my history with Spyro. Um, this is something that I feel that, honestly, not a whole lot of people focus on in the uh, Spyro community. You know, they're all focusing on the Reignited Trilogy, which of course is great, but they're not focusing on what made them enjoy the series, which I think is something interesting that is something that we can kind of all come together on and kind of say, oh, well, I started with Spyro because of this, or I started with it because of this. Uh, I even heard from a buddy of mine that he didn't even hear about Spyro until like the uh new age spyro like when they first introduced cinder and then they had that whole trilogy so i figured that that was pretty interesting um but with me i figured i would kind of get into my story and what started me off with it because <laughs> it is it's 21 years in the making i mean i'm 21 years old and it's it's what got me into gaming so sit back relax and let's just go ahead and get right into it so I started off with Spyro, uh, I was born in 1996, the first Spyro game came out in 96, and I was around 2 or 3 years old, and I vaguely remember playing Spyro, the original, on the PlayStation 1, and uh, it's what got me into gaming, it was the very first thing that, um, it's the very first, I guess, gaming memories that I remember, I vaguely remember playing on my dad's Sega Genesis and playing Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, vaguely, vaguely remember that, I mostly remember playing uh, Spyro the Dragon on my PlayStation 1, and I just remember having a blast with that game. I cannot tell you how many times I've played the trilogy and beaten it every single time, uh, and then I recently bought, for, all, for the whole trilogy, 15 bucks on the PlayStation 3 and just 100% at all of them, and had an absolute blast with it, so much so that it is the first game ever that I actually hold a world record speed run in. Now, of course, I'm sure many of you are going to say, well, that's BS, you know, you don't have footage proof. This was in a time where I had no way to record my footage, unfortunately, and still don't. Um, but it was on the PlayStation 3, as I just mentioned, because I bought the trilogy digitally on the PlayStation 3, and it was Spyros 2 Ripto's Rage, or Gateway to Glimmer if you're in the uh, UK. I had seen a video on YouTube where this guy you basically used a bunch of glitches, and he was able to finish Ripto's Rage in like 8 minutes. And I was like, challenge accepted, let's go. Um, I had just played through the whole game. So I knew where everything was. I had pretty much had everything memorized. And I got a record of seven minutes. I ended up beating his record. And I have not seen a faster record uh, on YouTube, on the internet, anywhere. I mean, I scoured. I did research, you guys, to make sure that eight minutes was the record. And I've not seen a faster record than seven minutes uh, glitch run through Spyro's Two Ripped of Rage, like start to finish. And like I'm saying, seven minutes from the moment you start the game, like you can actually take control of Spyro and beating Ripto in the final boss fight. Using glitches, seven minute speed run, I hold that record. Nobody will take it away from me. Again, I really wish I would have recorded it. I wish I had recording equipment to this day because it was such a great run. And I was like so excited to have that. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a seven minute run and I was, I was really happy with it. Um, 
I, I really wish I could upload it. Really wish I could go back on it because I just got that like maybe a year ago, and I remember when I got it, I was just I was so 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 happy because like Spiral holds such a close place in my heart because again it's it's what got me into gaming. Had it not been for Spyro and Insomniac Games, I probably would not be as into gaming today as I am now. Um, of course, it's some series have kind of fallen off for me. You know, perfect example of that being Call of Duty. You know, I enjoy it, but it's not as close to my heart as it used to be. Uh, whereas with Spyro, I mean, Homeboy's always been close to my heart. Um, even when the Crash trilogy remaster got announced, I was like freaking out. But then once they announced Spyro, I was like, okay, this is the real deal. This is you know my homeboy. This is like who I grew up with. So it's cool to finally see them remastering it. And just, you know, completely redoing everything from the ground up. Now, as for the other games that came after the original Spyro trilogy, I didn't really play them too much. I remember as a kid wanting to play Hero's Tale, but it wasn't on the GameCube. And uh, I remember when I eventually did play it, I thought it's okay. And then I remember for the GameCube, I got um, Enter the Dragonfly, which was a terrible game. For those of you who don't know the history behind Enter the Dragonfly, just as a quick story, um... On the GameCube, and I think on all platforms it was on, it had frame drop issues. Um, it Its graphics were so bad, and the frame drop issues got so bad at points during the game that a kid actually had an epileptic seizure because of it, and his family ended up suing the developers, and they went out of business. And the family got like millions of dollars because of it, because the son had an epileptic, epileptic seizure because of it, which I thought was just absolutely insane. Uh, there was a DS game. I forget what the DS game was. It's like, if you look at the art, it's like Spyro's Wings or Lightning. Um, it's like the Night something, Night Dragon. I don't remember what it is, but it was a DS game that you could only use the stylus for. It was okay. I didn't really care for it. I remember renting it from Blockbuster when Blockbuster was still a thing. I never really got into the new trilogy where they introduced Cinder and Spyro ends up sacrificing himself, and Cinder's like, I love you, oh my god, let's make a baby, like that, all that crazy stuff. Uh, I never got into that series, it just, it wasn't my cup of tea, it wasn't the OG Spyro, and then of course Skylanders came around, and I, I was not touching that with a 10-foot pole, I'm like, by that point, I was like 18, I'm like, bro, this ain't Spyro, like, I'm gonna I'm go to the club, like, that's how I'm gonna get my Spyro in, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that... that is pretty much my whole history of Spyro as a whole. Now, if I had to pick one... Spyro game from the original trilogy that I enjoyed the most, it would definitely have to be Year of the Dragon, just because I think Year of the Dragon had the most fun and most fair side quests and, uh, you know, side things to do, extra, you know, mini games and stuff. You know, when I was 100%ing uh, Spyro 2 on the PlayStation 3, because I never actually attempted to 100% the Spyro games or 115% whatever, I never attempted that until I actually downloaded them on the PS3 about a year ago. And also when I went for my speed run record, um, but Spyro one w was great. But Spyro two, I just I thought a lot of the mini games they just they made them hard just to make them hard. Like with the dinosaur one, I forget the name of the level, but it's it's the opening uh, scene to Spyro two that level that's in the background. The dinosaur mini game that you have to do in order to get the orb, and it's like you have to have all of the points memorized. I thought that that was just a bit over the top and ridiculous. And it's actually something I hope Toys for Bob kind of fixes because it was almost too difficult, you know, even for a game that's that old. Um, <laughs> but I, I think Year of the Dragon is probably my favorite just because of the fact that. You know, as I said, the, the mini games are fair. The skateboarding was fun. I'm a longboarder slash surfer, and I just I absolutely enjoy it. Like to this day, I can go back and play the skating part, and I'm like, yo, I'm gonna pull off a nasty Nork IRL. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm I'm an expert on, on the board. Like you you put you put me in Spyro on the board. Like we're we're gonna shred. We're gonna tear up. It's, it's so much fun. Um, and so just just games like that just were were a lot a lot of fun. And being able to of course take control of Hunter. And I believe it was Spyro 3. Yeah, 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 Spyro 3. You could actually take control of him and do some of the other side quests and stuff if you found him inside the uh, the the flying arena. I forget the name of it, but it's like the level you go into where you can only fly. And you got to, like, complete all, get through all the rings and all that stuff. So if you could find Hunter, you could, of course, do the minigame and stuff. And so that was really, really cool. I think that was a nice addition. Um the 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 backstory and all that with Bianca and the sorceress I thought was really cool. I thought her reasoning was kind of stupid, just, you know, wanting to, you know, 
live forever. You know, it's it, at least back then it didn't seem to me as a kid like, oh, you don't even want to take over the world. You just want to live forever. Like we all want to live forever, but still really cool nonetheless. And it was cool how even with like the Game Boy games and all that and the games later before they completely reinvented Spyro that they kept Bianca as a main character. I thought that, that was really cool. And I thought it was cool to see her make reappearances in other games, you know, compared to uh, Galora, I think was her name, the, the hot fawn that... I don't care what anybody says. She was like my first ever waifu. <laughs> um, also, that that voice actress is like perfect. But anyway, um, you know, they didn't bring her over into really any of the other games that like, you know, made her playable or whatever. It was just Bianca that came through the other games and her and Hunter had a thing. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything for my story uh, with Spyro and kind of my origins and all that. Um, but, but yeah, I think Spyro 3 is definitely my favorite. I'm definitely going to be conquering them of course in order once the reignited trilogy comes out but i think i'm going to definitely spend most of my time in spyro 3 plus i think the music in spyro 3 was probably the best like midnight mountain mm, 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 mm. midnight mountain is my favorite all-time favorite um but yeah i think that pretty much covers my whole story with spyro i would love to see some video responses to this uh again not to try to get subscribers or anything but just to hear other people's story to kind of hear you know how they started with the series like i said at the beginning of this video one of my buddies started off with the new trilogy that they did where they introduced cinder he never even played the original games which i thought was just insane but let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below let me know what you think about the reignited trilogy uh maybe you've been living on a rock and you haven't even heard about it or maybe you're a subscriber on my channel like why are you making a video about spyro but either way i would love to hear all this and more in the comments thank you guys for watching as always and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already i don't really have an upload schedule but if you would like to see me do more spyro videos again let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video